I just bought this golf cart for $1,500. Let's rebuild it. This right here is a 2006 EasyGo electric golf cart. This golf cart does have the upgraded motor that lets it go a little bit faster. This golf cart also has a lift kit on it. It looks to be about six inches and is definitely homemade. It is very rough to ride. This thing is very bumpy. Not a comfortable ride at all. We're gonna fix that. You also notice these tires have seen better days. Need to replace those. Along with the seats, the paint job is also very ugly. Definitely not ultimate at all. And to top it all off, the frame is very rusty and needs a lot of replacement. But by the end of it, we're gonna turn this into, into this. Hopefully that transitioned really cool. Uh, first step is to obviously dismantle this whole thing. So that is what we're gonna do. See how bad the rust is and fix it. Let's get to it.
let's just get a comparison on what was here beforehand, what all I cut out, and all that's new. I replaced all this metal with even thicker metal, so there should be no chance of this thing bending at all, any kind of warping. <laughs> I even replaced the battery boxes, got all that replaced, cleaned off all the old surface rust everywhere else, replaced anything that was necessary. The only thing that was really bad was kind of on the lower parts of this. Put some new metal on all that and it should be good to go now. And then I coated the whole thing with bed liner, so really should have no reason for this thing to rust ever again. At least not for many years to come. <laughs> a lot longer than it lasted before. As you can tell, this thing already has a lift kit on it. The lift kit on it though is homemade and it is very bumpy of a ride. Uh, it's definitely pieced together. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a pre-made one or one that's built for these things. And it has new shocks all the way around. I even bought new shocks for the rear end, so it should be riding a lot smoother now. So that's what we're gonna do next. Install that and then start working on the paint job and then move on from there. Now that all this metal is replaced, it should be easy going from here. Should be, fingers crossed.
Everything is painted, everything is welded together. You guys like the color? Kind of matches my shirt, actually. I have a history of choosing colors that are not the most ordinary, so still following that theme. Some people are gonna like it, some people are gonna hate it. That's how it usually goes, especially when you show stuff on YouTube. But I love it, exactly what I was going for. My inspiration for this color is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. This color is almost the same as their green with the white on top. It's just a little bit lighter, I believe. It's still a Toyota color, but a little bit lighter of that model. Next step is putting it all back together. Uh, I had to cut off a few pieces, like a few bolts and stuff, so I'm gonna have to replace all that. I also have some more extra goodies, new seat covers, new dash, new radio, new speakers. All of it is going to be up to par. Everything is pretty much gonna be replaced besides the <laughs> motor and batteries and a little bit of the frame. This thing is pretty much brand new now. Lift kit went on really well. This lift kit is very good quality. I like it a lot. I had to replace some of the OEM pieces because they cut them and welded them and completely replaced them. So I had to find some of the original pieces to work for this lift kit. But if you are doing one that is stock height, you should have all the pieces you need to put this one on. If you're wondering anywhere where I bought some of this new stuff, I'm linking it all in my description. You guys can check it out there. No sponsor or anything. I'm just linking everything as is. No affiliation with any of it. All right, let's go ahead and start putting this back together. A little bit left to do. Should be done pretty soon.
First thing I wanna point out, these seats are amazing. I'm linking everything I bought into the description above so you guys can check out everything. But these seats alone, just the, just one seat is $70. You can't even take them anywhere and get that kind of coverage and they fit pretty much perfect. There's no wrinkles at all. You can slip right over your original ones. I just thought that was a really great deal on Amazon and they look amazing, feel amazing. Yeah, just wanna point that out. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like the product. Now, with that being said, this thing is done. Steering wheel is all lined up. You guys don't have to comment about that. New radio installed, everything works as it should. One issue is it is not going currently. I have to like unplug the throttle box and then plug it back in for it to start working normally again. I think it's just the box that's bad. So I'm gonna replace that. If that's not the problem, then I might have to ask you guys for a little help. What happens is turn it off and it kind of like shuts everything down, turn it back on and it won't go. As soon as I unplug it and plug it back in, then it will go. Go forward reverse, but as soon as you turn the key back off, it resets again and you have to do the same thing over and over again. Other than that, this thing is perfect and it rides so much better. Even this back back here is really cool. These things flip up, cup holder. Since I installed the dash up front, I lost one of the cup holders, but gained uh, speakers and a whole new, better looking system up there, I think. Uh, so I decided to add more ones back here. And the same company that makes these seat covers makes these cup holders for the back. All good there. And the seat still folds out too. So you just flip these up, it folds out. I also installed a hitch in the back. That way I can hook up the jet skis and move it around the yard if I need to. Just makes it a lot easier. The last golf cart I had, it was a pain to hook it all up because I didn't have a hitch to it. Now for the final price, I paid $1,500 for this thing. I put $2,500 into it. Now that is not taking into account the paint and stuff like that because I had a lot of the paint. I had to clear coat everything I needed for that. I went and bought the color. I think that was like $200, but it's all depending on where you get it from and if you do it yourself or if you have someone else do it. I did it all myself, so $2,500 to $2,700 is a good range for how much it would cost to rebuild one of these. Also take into account that I had a lot of extra goodies I didn't really need. I didn't have to put the speaker system in. I didn't have to buy these really nice wheels. These wheels are like kind of top of the line. Them alone, I think are almost $800. And also your golf cart might not have all that rust in the center that you have to replace. So that is a big chunk of change for metal right now. But for four grand, you will not be able to buy a cart like this anywhere even close to this quality and <laughs> this nice. With all that said, I love how it turns out. The color's amazing. The wheels match perfectly with it. The wheels match the stitching in the seats. Absolutely perfect. Now that I'm looking at it, I painted the top white to kind of break up all the black and everything. But if I would have painted the white top the same color as the rims, I think that would have made it pop even more. I might go back and do that after a couple years when the white top is all messed up. I think that'll look really cool in the end. So let me know in the comments what you think about the color, the whole transformation, what you would have done different, what do you change, what do you like? Let me know. I also have an Instagram you can follow. I post a lot of behind the scenes. I was posting some sneak peeks of this before I dropped the video right now. You can check that out. I also have a TikTok and a Facebook. You can check those out too. That is it. I will catch you guys on the next series. I think I have another one coming out pretty soon. See ya.